With Season 2, Episode 4 of The Gilded Age being released, that now means one thing. Yep, the trailer for Episode 5 is here, and boy does it look interesting. With the personal war taking place between Bertha Russell and Mrs. Winterton, it seems like the scheming is going to climax on a public stage in Episode 5. So with that, I thought I'd break down and explain the trailer whilst giving my theories and predictions on what I think could happen next. So let's get into it. Here is the Gilded Age Season 2 Episode 5 trailer explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. So the trailer opened up inside of the Van Bryns property where Ada was speaking with Marion. Ada said to her, I can't give up on my sister. To which Marion responded with, you're going to give up on Forte to satisfy Aunt Agnes. And from there, it cut to yet another dinner where it looked as though Agnes was dining alone. And also, there was a shot of the Reverend looking slightly shocked. So I wonder if this is from where Ada tells him that the engagement is off. Agnes is able to manipulate her sister in ways that not many can. In the previous episode, Agnes said to Ada that it would be a poor return if Ada were to abandon her now after all of those years. So it shows that she's firmly against the idea of Ada being with somebody else. I feel like this is because Agnes doesn't have happiness and hasn't been able to find solace in having an intimate relationship with anybody. She relies solely on the company of her immediate blood family, and if they all start leaving base camp, so to speak, then she'll quite literally be left on her own. Which is a sad thought. However, the way that she's going about it and being passive-aggressive and making their relationship sound like a business investment makes me feel sorry for the character a lot less. So it seems like the proposal that Reverend Forte gave to Ada in the previous episode is going to fall on ears that will reply with a harsh treatment from her sister, making her question if her own happiness is worth more than Agnes's. The next part of the trailer that we cut to was down in Tuskegee, when Mr. Washington was standing in the center of the road and Peggy and Mr. Fortune were off to the side, where it appeared as though they were reporting on the opening up of the building that was mentioned in the previous episode that they'd got the students to help out with building. This was met with a voiceover which was taking place from another scene in the episode, a scene where Mr. Fortune and Peggy were out at dinner. Peggy said, I've been inspired. They have such ambition. They're fearless. Peggy is referring to the black students that are working and studying under Mr. Washington. It was previously mentioned how when Mr. Fortune was living down south, he was enslaved, and black people didn't have any opportunity whatsoever, as they didn't even have their freedom. Whereas now, Peggy is clearly inspired by the approach that Mr. Washington has taken in changing the perspective of how the community is viewed, and also how dedicated he is to improving his students' lives. When Peggy was speaking about how fearless the students were, Mr. Fortune interrupted and said to her, and so are you. Something which I feel confirms what we were all thinking could happen in this season. There were questions around if the both of these characters would have some kind of relationship, and I think it's clear to see that they will. This paired with what happened in the last episode where Peggy was ensuring that she looked okay when she knocked on Mr. Fortune's door, and also the awkward nature that was present between the both of them. I think it shows that there are some feelings there. So even though Mr. Fortune has a wife, or at least he says he does, I think we can expect to see a romance occurring. The next scene that we had in the trailer was something that I feel the main part of the episode is going to be focused on, and this is the dinner that is set to take place when the Duke stays at the Russells. We saw just how much Mrs. Winston was angry and frustrated at the fact that Bertha swooped in, changed the seating arrangements at the dinner, and got the Duke to stay at the Russells instead of hers. And I feel with Mrs. Winterton saying, I'll get Mrs. George Russell if it's the last thing I do before the episode concluded, I think we're going to see the scheming go up a level. The first line of dialogue was spoken by Ward McAllister, where he said to Bertha, My dear, the way to win a war is to bring out your biggest weapon. This was shortly followed by a clip of Gladys Russell being presented to the Duke. This is most likely the biggest weapon that Ward was speaking about. In the previous episode, there was a line which Bertha said to the Duke at dinner, where she mentioned that she had two children that were only a little younger than him. I didn't think much of it at the time, but come to think of it, it all makes sense now. By getting Gladys to pair up with the Duke and get her married off to him, that will increase the family status in society by tenfold. So with there constantly being this battle to get to the top and be the most respectable in society, this could not only be the way of doing that, but also, if the Duke is associated with the Russell family, that could get more people away from the Academy and seated in the Met, allowing her to win the separate wars that are taking place on two different fronts. 
Shortly after this, there was a line that was spoken by Bertha to Mrs. Bruce, where she said, nothing must go wrong. This is something which highlights the importance of the dinner that's taking place. Plus, it also shows us that something will most probably go wrong. I don't think it's going to be the staff that work there, but I think it will instead have something to do with Mrs. Winterton, judging by what followed next in the trailer. The next scene that we had was of the dinner which the Duke was in attendance of, and over the top of it there was a footman which said the line, everyone is in a fizz about entertaining a Duke, and he was saying it to none other than Mrs. Winterton. This was met with a cunning look from her, and a line which was ominous where she said, I need you to do me a favour. This was intercut with a scene where it looked as though he was personally attending to the Duke when he was sat down at his table, so it's going to involve something going wrong on that front. With there being a focus on bowls of soup which were being paraded around the table and being served to the guests, and there being one specifically which was focused on the specific individual that was working with Mrs. Winterton, I feel he could potentially look to sabotage the dinner. I feel he could do this by either doing something to the Duke, Gladys, or Bertha, with the final line in the trailer being, what are old friends for? It shows that Mrs. Winterton's former life as Miss Turner and being Bertha Russell's lady's maid is going to come in handy for her, as she's still able to reach out to the people that work for Mrs. Russell and be on their side, but this time maybe even offer them things in order to do what she wants them to do, allowing her to sabotage from within, something that Bertha doesn't have the power or the connections to do. Either way, it seems like the dinner will most certainly be some kind of disaster, and if it does go the way that we expect, then maybe the Russells will end up being the talk of the city for the wrong reasons. That paired with Larry and Mrs. Blaine being together and causing attention, and also George Russell with his battle with the union, the workers, and the strike that is set to occur, the Russells' name is well and truly being dragged through the mud on a public stage, all things that benefit those around them. Then from there, the trailer concluded, Things that weren't mentioned in the trailer that I think we'll continue to see being developed are the story which is focused on Marion and cousin Dashiel, and the fact that Dashiel and Francis almost want her to slot into their family, but the resistance that Marion's facing and feeling. Larry and Mrs. Blaine's secret relationship is something that I think will also be getting developed, and also Watson and the passion that he has to stay close to his daughter, but the friction that he's being met with by Mr. McNeil. So it's definitely going to be an interesting episode for sure. There are just so many directions that it could go. So, there you have it. The Gilded Age Season 2 Episode 5 Trailer Explained. If you want to see more videos on The Gilded Age, then click on the card in the top corner. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find more. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think will happen next? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.